happy holidays everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making some jamaican sorrel now if you're jamaican you'll know that sorrel is a crucial part of our christmas holidays i just got a bag from my dad so without further ado let's jump right into the video So here you see me with a large pot filling up with water. This is one of the largest pots that I own. It's actually a pressure cooker pot. So if you have a large pot like this, go ahead and grab that. So fun fact, in other countries, sorrel is known as Jamaica juice, also pronounced as Jamaica juice or Jamaican red juice. But here it's just plain old sorrel. So as you can see, I'm filling up my pot with some sorrel. Of course, they are washed and then I'm going to be adding two cinnamon leaves also washed, about 15 to 20 pieces of pimentos, a dash of cloves and two cinnamon sticks. I'm also going to be adding some lemon juice, just a squeeze and also four quarters of a half a lemon. As you can see, I shaved the skin off because I'm trying to avoid the bitter taste. I also picked out all the seeds. You will also need 4 inches of ginger, 2 inches chopped and the other 2 inches grated so that the ginger flavor can really soak into the juice. Next you want to boil this on medium to high heat covered. Sorrel is something that in Jamaica we draw. Now when we say we draw something it means that we boil it and then we turn it off and we leave it covered. So you want to get the juices extracted first and then we're going to cover this afterwards. Some of my favorite sorrel products include red striped sorrel bear, sorrel glazed meats like ham, and also sorrel cake. Sorrel is a very flexible product and the rich flavor can be used in several dishes. However, in Jamaica, this particular drink, although consumed in other times of year, is particularly popular in the Christmas season. Now after about 12 hours of being drawn, yes I said 12 hours, you'll notice that we have our blood red color so now it's time to strain our juice. So you want to get a strainer and of course get the largest jug that you have or get more than one jugs ready. Now I'm going to show you in a bit just how much juice I got out of this one batch. This can definitely serve for the entire family and if you are living by yourself, go ahead and just freeze the other half of this so that it doesn't go to waste. Now it's time for the good part. A lot of Jamaicans prefer to spike their sorrel with rare nephew white overproof rum. Specifically rum because vodka is more sweet and rum really gives it that kick of a flavor. This is the amount of sorrel I reserved for myself before Christmas and the rest is in the freezer so I can save a little time on Christmas day when cooking. Thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and let me know if you use this recipe for the holidays. I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy holidays!